Hello and welcome to this Leap video tutorial on the pricing section of the admin dashboard. In today's video, we'll be going over these five pages, price guide, packages, display unit prices, price formulas, and the category section. On the first page here on price guide, if we need to buy ourselves a little more space, just to the left of that is an arrow. We can click on that arrow to collapse the left menu. Below price guide, we have our key displaying the three colors that will represent our measure sheet lines, which are blue, price guide options in green, and upcharges in red. To the right of that, we have our tools, import, and export buttons. The tools button will feature a mass price change, mass copy, and the ability to auto-generate upcharge IDs. If we click the export button to the right here, our price guide will be exported and emailed to the email address on our account. We can then open that Excel document, make changes, and then click import to bring it back in and have the changes reflected in the data below. Below the key here, we have our different filters. The first filter is your office filter. That will show you only items existing within that office and offices can share multiple items. To the right of that is categories and subcategories. So if I need to filter down further into different verticals, I can click the checkbox and my data will update down below. The same could be done with subcategories. Finally, active columns will display different columns of data down in our price guide. If I no longer need to see the category column, I could uncheck this checkbox and it would hide it. Moving down into the data itself, we'll see those colors for the different types of lines defined here to the far left, as well as the underline of any set of data. So if I click on this little arrow in the very first column, it'll drop down to my selected price guide options, my green lines, and we'll see that those are underlined with green here. If I click into any of these cells, I'll be able to change the name or edit it however I would like. When a change is made, a little blue save disk icon will appear on the left. That would allow me to save this individual line. If I click it here at the top, I can save everything that I've done up to this point. And I'll get a confirmation once that's done. You can also click the save button here in the top right as well. It'll light up if there's changes that need to be saved. Down at the very bottom, I can increase my record count if I want to see more records on one page, rather than going through the pages over here to the right. If I click on 25, I'll now be able to scroll down and scroll up to see those 25 different line items. In some cases, you may have a lot of extra columns and you may notice a little scroll bar that'll be seen here at the very bottom of the list so you can scroll back and forth to see all of those items. You can also expand these columns if you need to see longer names or descriptions. If you need to add a new line to a section, you'll click the green plus sign seen here in the very top of the column header. When I click on that, it will add it to the first position overriding the previous item in the first position. Then I could simply type in my new information to create the new measure sheet line here. Once I've made the changes, I would click save again, or again, save in the top right, and that would lock in my new measure sheet line. Now we'll take a look at the packages page. On this page, if I want to see the packages of a particular category, I'll simply go down to the category section, click on it, and now I can see my good, better, best packages that exist in my roofing category. The offices that they're currently associated to, and an edit icon here if I need to make changes to them. By tapping on that edit icon, I'll see some details about the package, and upon scrolling down, be able to see the different price guide options, or green lines, that are associated with each of the packages themselves. Once I've made the changes I need to, I can hit the save button in the bottom right. 
If you need to add a new package, click Add New here in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to do so. The next page is Display Unit Prices. If you need unit prices to display on the iPad for your reps, then you want this triggered on. If you do not, simply flip the switch to turn it off and hit the Save button in the top right hand corner. The next page we'll take a look at is the Price Formulas page. In the example we're seeing here, MSRP is taking the total price book price. Initial visit is going to take 10% off of that price, and the floor is configured to take 20% off of the base price. If these price buttons here are turned on, they'll show up on the iPad at the bottom of the iPad to be tapped on. If I need to make edits or changes to these, I can do it here from this section by simply typing into this field, or I can tap on this edit button to the far right, make the changes here, as well as have a test suite down below where I can punch in values, see the calculation calculate, and how it will end up on the iPad. Once I have the formula modified the way I would like, I would tap Save Formula in the top right, and it would save it. Finally, we'll take a look at the Categories page. The Categories page determines the order in which your categories will display under the Estimates section on the iPad. So currently, Bathroom would display in the first position, Bathroom 1 in the second, Birch Vanities in the third, and so on. The next column over is the Identifier. On the previous page in Price Formulas, we saw B plus CP, which means Book plus Custom Product. But if we wanted to give certain categories identifiers and perhaps multiply against them, say we wanted our bathroom always marked up by 20%, we could create an identifier here and put that identifier over into the formula on the previous page. Finally, the last column is the measure sheet type. Currently, this line is set up in a deep drill down. We could move it to drill down or standard, hit save and refresh our iPad, and the category would display differently. Finally, if you need to add a new category, you can click the Add New button here. However, if you create a new category in your price guide, it will create on this page after a refresh automatically in the standard view, and you can just make a change to the measure sheet type as needed. If you need to delete any of them, you can always click the red trash can for any lines we've seen during this video. If additional assistance is needed, don't forget that the chat bubble is down here to the bottom right, and you can always bring that open to chat with one of our representatives. Thank you for watching.